You should slow down. My ice cream cones are coming off. Oh no. Wait, I'm just kidding. Oh no. Oh, wait, well, are they? I'm, I'm not actually kidding, but I am kidding about slowing down. Oh, one sec. It's Mandy. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Wait till they are. Hey, Mandy. We're like five minutes from your house. Wait, Mandy. I think you need to. Can you come downstairs and see the van, though? Okay. Let's meet downstairs. All right. See you soon. Bye. Hi, Mandy. Hi. What's up? We made an ice cream truck. Well, we gotta go down because we can't. Yeah, park yeah, here. yeah. We. I wanted you to see the van first, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do a lap around the van. <laughs> you have to see the bag. The way that typical charity works is that people come to you with a problem and then you try to solve their problem. The difference about Simple House is we try to go to the poor in their homes and then based on a relationship with them, ask them what they need. When we have the freedom to be able to serve them as creatively as we want. And we want to view the poor as people and just not as problems to fix. You can do peace, I'll do love, and Margaret can do <laughs> Back in DC, we did something called the ice cream truck, where we brought ice cream around to different families on really hot days and just would sit outside or in their house if it was too hot and just eat ice cream with them. And so we decided today to do an ice cream truck and go visit a few families that we know. It's become very clear to me that one of the deepest sufferings of the poor is just despair and loneliness. And a lot of that suffering is alleviated through friendship and through God and prayer. How do I look? Okay. okay. <laughs> Ouch. We have the opportunity to like draw them into something deeper. And in a way, it's such a privilege too, because it's not just us serving them, like they also serve me in a lot of ways and draw me out of myself. Hi, Mandy, it was good to see you. Yeah, I'll see you around. I don't know how free I'll be because of the new gig. But. So I decided this past year was my last year at Simple House. It was kind of a hard decision, but it was also a time like, I feel like I've grown a lot here and I've grown as much as I could here and I wasn't gonna grow anymore except for moving on. And I'm very excited for my next steps, even though it feels kind of scary. Um, yeah, this is all I've done since college, so I don't really know like any other type of job out there. Oh, did I get it too far? Oh, I can also move the letters too. Yeah. So if you want to do that. All throughout college, I knew that I wanted to do service after, and I kind of assumed that I was just gonna go to med school probably at some point or go into healthcare after, but service was always really important to me. All right. In the summer before senior year, I spent with the Missionaries of Charity in Calcutta, and I really, fell in love with the poor. Um, yeah, because I think I just saw Christ in the poor and I felt so free to just be poor and to just be with people and to like love Christ. And I've never felt so free. The faith of the poor is really profound. Some people we know just talk to us about how they wake up each day and are just so grateful to be alive and have woken up. And I think about the ways that I wake up and I just wake up and smash my alarm and I'm like, err, <laughs> like I don't wanna be awake right now. Um, and I definitely don't immediately thank God for waking up that morning. Bye, Daddy. It's good to see you. Um, next time, we need to do another bake-off at some point. So. Yeah. We'll be I, I, I think I can get really 
caught up in myself throughout each day. I can look at a day and think about all the things that I want to do and all the ways I want it to serve myself or what I want to accomplish that day. And Simple House has made me think about all the ways that I don't invite God into the day and let him work throughout the day. Okay, I have to act this. this is <laughs> nice. That was great. You do your dance with it now. Yeah. You need that hat from the wedding party. I think when I first realized that it was time to move on, I felt very frustrated. Like maybe I wasn't like good enough to keep going. But the reality is, is that vocation is such a gift. And like I was given this time at Simple House, and now I'm being given something else. And I wasn't being really grateful for what God was like willing for my life per se. I was kind of fighting it. Um, so yeah. So I feel like in accepting my time being done like a lot of cool things have fallen into place so Father God just ask you right now let's say you right now in her new position she got being a coach let her be the coach that you want her to be Father God let, let her self go and put God in you and to do what you want her to do in coaching to make sure that the girls in the right time to train Father God just going to give an honor thank you for this position that she, she really going to enjoy she's going to put her heart into it, Father God, is going to be a blessing towards you. Um, I'll be coaching gymnastics full time and working with like a competitive gymnastics team in Kansas City. So I'm grateful to stay in the area. It's a really big gift to be able to continue to like have these relationships with people. I'll let you know the next time I can swing by. But yeah, I don't have as clear of a schedule anymore. So I'll let you know. But you can always call me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the hours is what the hours are done for? 10 to 7. Okay. So or 10 to 8.30. Okay. Yeah. Right I'll, do, I'll just text you. You can text me back. Okay, cool. Yeah.